Molly Burke just came out with her new Audible original called It's Not What It Looks Like. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and today I wanted to talk about Molly's new book. I read it as soon as it came out and I wanted to share some of my thoughts about the book and Molly Burke in general with all of you guys. So I don't usually do book reviews on my channel. On Live Accessible we do videos on technology and resources and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, and sighted supporters and I do believe this book is a lot of inspiration, motivation, and encouragement. So that's why I want to talk about it. So please subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more videos from us. And if you don't know who Molly Burke is, she is a YouTube star, she's a model, she is a public speaker, and she's a motivational speaker, and she is just one amazing young lady. She's um, right around my age, uh, I just turned 26, and I believe she is 25. She has purple hair, her dog's name is Gallup, and there's a lot of things that I definitely relate to her with because I am a woman, I am 26, so we're both in the same age range. Um, we both had some trouble in school. In a lot of ways, she definitely had much more trouble than I did, um, but, but I can definitely relate to her. And I think a lot of, especially young women who are visually impaired or blind can um, definitely relate to her. And she has evolved over the years. I mean, if you watch her older videos and her videos now, she has grown both in her YouTube channel, in her equipment, in her quality, but also as a person. I know that there's people that disagree with her and there's some people who don't necessarily like um, how she comes across maybe or how she is on the surface on her YouTube channel or they don't agree with her opinions and they also don't like the perception that people have that all young women who are blind or just blind people in general are able to do all these things that are successful or that are business people or um, that are not like her and I mean nobody is like anybody else there's this misconception that um, if there is a blind person all blind people are like them and I mean if you think about it if you meet somebody that is Hispanic you don't assume that everybody is like them I mean, I hope not. <laughs> or if you meet somebody that's Filipino, like I am, I'm sure that if you meet me, you might think of the other person, um, but we're completely different people. We grew up differently, we have different opinions, we have a different life experience. And so um, if you look deeper, if you look at who she is, if you look under all the fashion, the makeup, all that kind of things, I really love who Molly Burke is. And I do believe that she is really genuine. Um, she's authentic, which I do like. Even in um, how she presents herself on YouTube, I have a feeling, I mean, I've never met her, I'd love to meet her, but I have never met her, but I think she would be the same as she is on YouTube, and that's not always the case. So anyway, let's talk about her book. Um, I thought it was really cool that she actually did the audio of her book, so it's very personal. You can hear the emotion behind her voice and she just walks through the life that she has already lived. I mean, she's only in her 20s and so she hasn't lived the majority of her life yet. So of course, it's only about her growing up and where she is today. I think it's very inspirational. Um, she talks about growing up, going to school, the diagnosis of her retinitis pigmentosa, and um, she also has nystagmus, which I did not realize I had nystagmus as well. And she grew up with depression, 
which she overcame. She goes through different parts of her life as if it was a lesson to be learned. And I really like that because it wasn't just about her necessarily. There was a kind of moral to each part of her book or her biography for each chapter. And she just talked about her struggles and um, how she has succeeded and where she has come, um, where she wants to go. I really enjoyed the read. It's a little over three hours and it's definitely worth the six dollars and something cents. Um, and I mean, you walk away, at least I have walked away from this book with more motivation to join Molly and everybody else changing this world because um, and changing perceptions of what it means to be blind or visually impaired or have a disability. So if you read the book, leave a comment down below. I will leave a link to the audiobook down in the description as well. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible.